car related or let's say automotive content these days it's it's really made in uh, you know it's being made in a very very uh, general and a very common way which uh, you know includes things like car reviews and car comparisons and you know performance comparisons which you know just in the sense that it gives the prospective buyer a lot more clarity about what they want to buy and what they should compare and then you know it includes things like you know what to buy what not to buy definitely based on those comparisons which is a good thing i mean definitely it's it's a lot of guidance for anybody who wants to buy a car it includes things like you know futuristic developments in the whole automotive industry and the whole uh, conversations happening around introducing introduction of electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles and so on and so forth which is actually an absolutely great thing because uh, looking at you know where the globe is headed in terms of environment safety and environmental uh, friendliness these things have to come into picture at some point you know we have to save planet earth but you know apart from that what's really missing according to me in the whole uh, automotive uh, content today automotive journalism is you know information really information from the horse's mouth you know which which includes uh, you know people slash horses like people uh, working in the OEMs tuners or you know very very specialized uh, build owners you know people who have built amazing cars or even rally drivers or track drivers or autocross drivers and some of the other unsung heroes of the motorsports world even the automotive journalists for that matter i mean these guys are doing amazing work and amazing things they're talking about but there are so many things i feel that you know even the journalists they are just not able to talk about on screen because of obvious reasons and i personally feel and i personally happen to know a lot of these journalists who really want to talk about cars in general because they themselves are uh, petrol heads so yeah and uh, things like individuality about cars you know i personally believe each and every single car has its own individuality there is a reason why every single car was built you can't just be like this car is good or this car is bad or this car is ugly or this car is uh, super smooth it's got amazing curves every single car i believe has its own individuality and that is not being spoken about that being that is not being paid attention to and um, uniqueness every single car has its own uniqueness be it in the form of features be it in the form of design be it in the form of you know it, it the design might be a plain jane design but the structure the the chassis the frame and the you know quality of the engine which is being put into that vehicle there is a lot of uniqueness in every single car you know for example tuners might want to talk about uh, a certain car which is a very simply built car but the tunability of that car must be just through the roof you know you could tune the living daylights out of the car but there would be another car which is actually not that tuner friendly but in general it's a great car for a passenger for a driver for a co-driver whoever that might be also the emotion about cars in general which i really want to talk about is missing right now you know it's become uh, i mean it actually it's intended to be a means of transport but as a car enthusiast as a car guy i mean i personally feel there's a lot of emotion attached to it it there's a lot of emotion attached to how this uh, box of sheet metal beautifully designed boxes of sheet metal on four wheels they move they handle and they give that sense of completeness to a uh, sense of achievement sense of fulfillment to uh, you know drivers and car owners these things are currently not spoken about and uh, they you know all of this is really missing so let me introduce myself to you my name is aradhya gupta and this would be my first uh, video on my youtube channel and uh, i would really be focusing on these things which i just mentioned about the uniqueness about the emotion about the individuality and i would not be going solo on this i would be uh, talking to many people through my uh, series of videos that i'll be putting up after this one and those people will include as i mentioned it will include tuners it will include uh, some of the best tuners in the country probably even across the globe if possible i'll make it happen it will include people from working in the oems it will include car enthusiasts it will include uh, some really good people i happen to know uh, you know who own classic and vintage cars 
tuned cars like really well tuned cars and then it will include people like even general public general people who would be owning certain cars and they want to talk about it and it will include motorsports people some very very successful guys uh, you know uh, guys and girls uh, being uh, you know uh, as professional rally drivers or track drivers or even ex really really seasoned off-roaders I mean I happen to be uh, an avid off-road uh, driver myself so I'll be interacting with a lot of these extreme 4x4 uh, vehicle owners to really you know understand and put across to you as to what it really feels like to off-road and there's a lot of uh, content related to these things that are missing right now so yeah and uh, I would request all of you to stay tuned subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for notifications in case I'm putting any video in future you'll be updated this is Aradhya Gupta from Internal Combustion. Thank you.